I don't know if you practice yoga, if you have any particular thoughts on the subject, or if the thought of what it means, let alone practicing, has ever crossed your mind. I will let you in a little secret. I have been practicing yoga for well over seven years, and I still can't do a headstand. I pretty much feel stiff and kind of inadequate every time I start a session. And to be honest, many of the people I have come across at yoga studios who are avid practitioners and have all the gear under the sun are some of the most self-centered, hedonistic people I have encountered. How can that be? These things almost made me give up when I started especially the few times I went to a yoga studio. But I'm glad I didn't. I started doing yoga back when we lived in Newcastle, Australia. And it sure wasn't because I was bored and wanted to pick up a hobby. I was going through this period of my life when I was having unexpected pain everywhere. Just to think about that gives me shivers. I will have to take four painkillers throughout the day just to be able to cope with my daily routine. I used to work in business development in healthcare in the state of New South Wales where we lived in and often I had to drive to visit customers and potential customers and put my best face. I remember this particular time when I had to drive four hours to train a client. I didn't know how I was going to manage to get there, let alone come back home. When I arrived to my accumulation, all I could do was throw myself on the carpeted floor and cry. I had never been sick in my adult life. I was not the person I knew. I am of the belief that in life, often the teacher arrives when the student is ready. Sometimes it may not be pretty, and that was my case. Yoga came to teach me a lesson I didn't know I needed. I was a person who could not relax, and I was kind of proud of it. I often got myself tangled in my own whirlwind of doing things to prove myself to others, to always say yes, especially when it came down to work stuff. Why did I think that I had to work so hard to be deserving? Was I not doing my best already anyway, even if nobody had asked me? These questions, answers, and revelations came only after dedicating 30 to 45 minutes of my daily life to being on a mat, forgetting about the rest of the world, and clumsily following a stranger on a computer screen. A little price to pay to open up a door 
I always looked for, but didn't know what it was. And that's why I say that yoga is not only yoga. Yoga to me is a chance at changing gears at some level or in some world I may not understand when I can't change the things I do or the behaviors I follow in the world I have in front of me. Yoga is the opportunity to surrender what I cannot control or try to control to my detriment. Yoga is the forgiveness I allow myself when my leg drops during a certain movement on the mat, which later in the day manifests itself exponentially if I make a mistake at work or during my daily life. Yoga is acceptance and gratitude for everyone and everything, for the pretty and the not so pretty. And Although I own zero yoga pants and after more than seven years I can't stand on my head, I have found an infinite fountain where to drink from. And that is more than I can ask for. But enough about me. How about you? Have you tried yoga? something similar or something completely different that makes you feel this way? Please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!